We know you have a lot of sites to visit and a lot of videos to watch, so we'll save the suspense. The best tea for weight loss is poor. Or pooer. Or pooer? Pro tip somebody who poos is a pooer. You can pronounce it the same way. No Mandarin speaker in her right mind is going to judge. Okay, call it pooar if you're going for authenticity. However, you spell or say pooer. It's the best tea for weight loss, hands down. Now, if you're skeptical, good.、Uh, my yoga teacher says Tulsi tea is the ultimate. I saw this thing in USA Today about matcha tea. Every time I watch a YouTube video, they're advertising skinny tea. So, okay, let's define what we mean by best tea for weight loss. It's a bit of a broad label, like saying best car. Do you want a flashy, overpriced car that will rocket you across the parking lot and then break down? That's skinny tea. Do you want a Toyota Camry with five engines in it? That's matcha. Way too much of a good thing. So here's the thing this deep dive on why poor is the best tea for weight loss makes an assumption about you, the reader. We're assuming you know real weight loss, lasting weight loss, is not a matter of a miracle drink. And three to twenty-one days of commitment. We are assuming you know any true and lasting changes take time and consistency. If rapid weight loss without the inner change to make it last is your goal, let us save you the money you'd spend on a commercial quick fix like flat belly tea. Buy mahuang instead. Mahuang is a powerful herb. Be a fedra plant. Brew a few cups a day. And eating and sleeping will be the last things on your mind. Side effects may include hyper sweating, dry mouth, bulging eyes, possible epileptic episodes, nightmares, daymares, quaking, shaking, insomnia, incontinence, and possible insanity. You get the idea. Let's put it succinctly: natural, unadulterated tea is the single best ingredient for helping you lose weight safely, sustainably, and lastingly. That's because all natural teas gently promote lipolysis, what we call fat burning, but which is in reality a complex chemical process. All teas also have a host of compounds, from antioxidants to xanthine, that are of immense value to your first world physical status. They lower your cholesterol and fight inflammation and aid healthy intestinal flora. The list goes on. But we're here to tell you about the best tea for weight loss and how to use tea to its utmost effect. So yes, green tea is wonderful for your health. Its role in warding off heart disease and cancers is even almost recognized by the American Medical Association. You know, the good people who for 50 years told us to barely eat any fat and to scarf down 75 servings of grains each day. White tea, oolong, black tea. All have the same base of great compounds and special features, such as green tea and its catechins, or black tea and its polyphenols. So, just by replacing your soda and juice with natural tea, you could lose significant weight and make gains in your overall health. But again, weight loss is your primary goal, and you don't mind a cornucopia of other positive effects on the side. Poor tea is your go-to tea. Here's why poor is your top weight loss ally. Two reasons, really. One, more than any other tea, poor boosts your body's production of lipase. Lipase is an enzyme that triggers your fat cells to release triglycerides, which is the fat content. That's why poor is tops for lipolysis, the fat burning effect. Two, poor blocks your body from producing fat in the liver by suppressing fatty acid synthesis. It's quite a one-two punch when you're drinking tea to lose weight, and less direct but also impactful is poor's high levels of GABA and theanine, two compounds that are great at lowering your stress levels and producing great sleep. Being chilled out and well rested are key when you're making food decisions. Less stress, less urge to hit the couch with a family-sized bag of Cool Ranch Doritos. More rest equals more energy to brew some tea to drink instead of popping a can of Coke. Now, poor is also the hometown favorite for weight loss. You know, tea was first cultivated in China, probably in Yunnan, which is the home of poor. The highlands of Yunnan province in China's southwest 
are as pure as Beijing is polluted. Think Montana versus Newark. Something about the soil content and air make for a truly special tea leaf. Then again, there are lots of incredible growing climates in China and elsewhere, producing amazing tea. Remember that all tea is the same plant, Camellia sinensis. But what makes poor poor is its fermentation process, which has only been around 400 years or so, a blip on the Far East timeline. Traditional Sheng Puar is made with a unique fermentation process, with special microbial agents added and kept under controlled conditions. It doesn't acquire its full flavor profile for about a year, and actually becomes more rich in flavor as time goes on. That's why there's a poor trading bourse in China, and why many families will buy a case of new Puar tea as a trust fund when a child is born, knowing that the cakes will be far more valuable when both they and the child have matured. Then again, rare green teas from Taiwan and Fujian can be incredibly expensive as well. But which tea did the Chinese turn to for weight loss? Poor, and not just as part of a weight loss program. Don't forget the hack. The power of poor to zap fat before it zaps you is so well known in China that it's a standard postprandial drink at restaurants or after big heavy meals in general. In fact. The trick is to wait half an hour to an hour after finishing a heavy, greasy meal to break out a pot of pour. This is when pour can really get to work with its amazing fat-blocking properties, keeping the oil, grease, and fat moving right through your system instead of being absorbed by the GI tract and liver. Have you ever wondered, after a typical dinner in a Chinese restaurant, how the Chinese can be so slim in general? Sure. Almost half of the country is working too hard for too little to be getting overweight, and obesity in China is a rising epidemic, closely related to rising incomes, the spread of fast food, and a higher ratio of processed foods in people's diets. But China's obese aren't drinking poor on the reg, and when they get sick and tired of being sick and tired, poor after every meal is a standard prescription. In fact, poor is the only supplement that a traditional Chinese medicine doctor will allow as safe for everyday consumption for as long as you want. So once you start drinking poor, if you haven't already, keep that hack in mind. Next time you're at an extended dinner, you can break out the poor, redeeming you and other guests from the consequences of your fried calamari and cheesecake. Drinking tea regularly, even poor, while still eating your face off. Is not going to help you lose weight, though. It can only protect you from taking on the full brunt of the greasy fat bombs you swallow. Drinking tea must be a tool in a whole kit of healthy habits you develop, and those habits come from fundamental changes in your emotional and mental state. So please watch part two of this video to find out how to drink poor, or better yet, sign up for our 100% free six-lesson course by clicking on the link in the video or in the description. Thanks for watching. Here's to a thinner, healthier, happier you.